Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dermar again, and today I'm really excited because I'm gonna continue the videos with Unity Mars. In this video, I'm going to focus on showing you how you can add image markers, what do you need to do to be able to basically track an image in augmented reality with Unity Mars. So I'm gonna show you the results you see playing behind the scenes where we added a crystal and we attach it to the Unity logo, and also we added a robot and we attach it to a rocket image. So let me show you what you need to do to make it work. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing today, which is to start using image markers with Mars. So what I'm gonna show you is some of the basic setup and then how we can start capturing image markers in Unity. So the first thing that you need to do, you need to create a, an image library. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to create a, a new folder. I'm gonna call it image libraries. And you can put anywhere you want. I just like to keep this organized. I'm just gonna create a new Mars image library, marker library, so you can just click on that. It's going to give it this default name. I think for now we can use that. And I also noticed that it creates a file called ARF underscore ARF, which we're not gonna to be touching. The one that we're gonna be touching is this one. So I also have a couple of images that I'm gonna be adding. So let's go ahead and add a new folder. And this is going to be images. It's gonna go ahead and put it in here. And the ones that I'm going to be using is we're gonna be using this rocket from Magic Leap, which I think it's pretty cool. And then I'm also going to be using the Unity logo. So I'm gonna show you how we can use different markers in this video. So let me just drag that and drop it in this folder. And then make sure that I have everything set up correctly. I think this one should be okay. And on the case of, the, of this one, I think I just need to enable transparency. And let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit apply. There we go, we're just gonna test it as well. So now that we have those two, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my Mars marker library. I'm gonna click on that image. I'm gonna do that twice. So one of them is going to be the magic lip, magic lip rocket. And then you can get a label if you like. I like to keep that name. And then the other thing that we're gonna need is gonna be the Unity logo. And this is gonna automatically set the physical size and by default, it's gonna be this number, but I think once you add the image, it might change. So let me go ahead and do magic lip rocket. And it looks like the, the, basically the physical size is gonna be set to that by default. But let's go ahead and try doing a Unity logo. And then we're just gonna play around with it once we add it and show you how that works. So right now we have the image library, so now we need to basically link it to the session. So you do that by going into the Mars session and then you can look at this option on the very bottom. Let's go ahead and click on that and then go into Mars marker library. So now you can see if I expand it, you're gonna see that I have those two, you know, those two images that I show you on the other side. So, so far so good, I, you know, we just have a marker library. Mars session knows about those. So how do we actually add it and how do we test it, right? That's gonna be the next question. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the, the robot from the example, and we're gonna be playing with that. So let's go ahead and go into samples, Mars 1.000, templates, and then game and prefabs. So I'm gonna be using this object for a lot of the testing. So we can use that one for that. And perhaps we can use the playable for the other image marker. So right now we just have you know the robot in there twice. It doesn't really it doesn't really matter you know, where we put it right now. So what I'm gonna do now is we need to create our proxy. So that's going to allow us to see it in the simulation view and also the device view. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you can either do, do it, there's multiple ways you can do, you know, adding an image marker here, adding a horizontal plane. I found that adding just an image marker was easier and then you, know, you can add any, any conditions as you like. This one is going to give you everything that you need for I mean, an image marker. So it's gonna have the marker condition for you. So I think that one works better in my case and it's gonna tell you here what images are currently available. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just say, okay, for this one, we're gonna, we're gonna label them. So it's gonna be image marker for, we can say ML rocket, just to keep the name short. Then I'm gonna clone that and then this one is going to be for Unity logo. For Unity logo, there we go. So now on this one, I'm going to be assigning the Unity logo and you can see the Unity logo shows in there. And on this one, it's just going to be the Magic Leap rocket. 
And if we move this to the back, I think, I think the size of this is fine. I mean, you can play with those sizes depending on you know, your requirements or what image you want to capture. You can also change the size custom here if you like, and, it, and this is in meters. You can also you know, select predefined sizes such as a postcard, an A4 paper, or a poster. I think that's really smart of Unity to provide that, you know, those options. But right now we can just leave it as default. We don't need to do anything special. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because I want to be able to see it. So let's go ahead and go back down here. We can just do something like 0.25 and then 0.25. Perhaps this one we can do, let's try 0 0.4, 0 0.35. Yeah, we'll just use a custom size for this one. And then on the other one, which, because I'm going to, I know that that is, a, you know, a size that is the same size from X and Y. So what I'm going to do on that one, just going to do 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 so that we can see those, you know, much bigger. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this one to the side, just, just so that we have, you know, we can view them in the same view and then we can just readjust it. So right now what I'm going to do is the rocket, I'm going to be adding this one right here. I'm going to make sure this is at 0, 0, 0. And then on the on the Unity logo, we're gonna add the Unity the Unity E underscore playable, which is going to have basically a different you know a different component added to it. So I think this one it's going to allow us to move it around, where this one is just going to be idle for testing. And in fact, we could change if we wanted to change the material, you could. I think this this works for now. So let's go ahead and look at some of these right now. So. Right now this, you know, it has an image and we have this one's, you know, set up with the rubble that we're going to use. So if we go to the simulation view, we're not going to see anything. And the reason why we're not going to see anything is because we need to add what's called a synthetic image marker. And that's what's going to allow us to see it. And right now what we need to do is I'm going to go ahead and move these ones to zero, zero, zero. And then, yeah, so everything, I just wanted to show you that you can see them, um, you know, side to side, but make sure they are at zero, zero, zero. The other cool thing with these image markers before I keep going is if we detect the image and we put this robot, you know, in place, you can actually offset the robot if you wanted to. So if you want the robot to be in the air, maybe it's an airplane and you want to animate that airplane. The cool thing with Mars is you have full control of that, right? Where in other, you know, in AR Foundation by itself, it was a lot harder because you had to do it through code. So here you can see exactly what's happening. So I think that was really helpful. So the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can add a synthetic image marker. So I'm going to go ahead and put one in this case, let's go ahead and put one on the bed and it's going to show you here that the synthesized marker ID has these two images. So in this case, we can just add the, basically this one right here, which is going to be the rocket. And if I move it, we can just put it right here and maybe move it up a little bit so we can see the image. You can see that as I move the synthesized object, which it's actually available if you go down here, simulated markers. The synthesize image marker is going to be only available in this synthesized environment. So it's really not in the hierarchy. It's in this virtual world that basically you're simulating, such as, you know, the bed is a synthesized object, like this one is also a synthesized object. So, so we can see that in this case, we have, you know, the image marker and we have a rubber and that was detected correctly. So. If I wanted to clone this, we could actually clone it, which is another thing that is cool. And let's go ahead and try. I think I just got to create another one. We'll just create another one. And then I'll just put it right down. I can just put that one perhaps right here. And then we can use the Unity logo for that one. And we can just move it. Let's just move it up a little bit and do that. So I think what I'm going to do instead of using these ones, uh, you know, they we, we don't really know what's happening, we can just add a crystal to one. And then on the other one, so on the Unity logo, I'm going to delete this object. And then we're just gonna add the crystal. And now you can see, you know, how easy it is to just map this 3D object to this image. And where, you know, before we had to do a lot of coding, change the prefab, and then it was just gonna be a lot harder to do that. So that's how these ones work. You can create, you know, you can create image markers and then tell the image marker, what kind of object you're going to be instantiating. All right, guys, so the last thing that I want to show you is how this runs on my iPhone device. And this also works on AR Core, so you, so you know. If I hit play, you can see that the image marker is in place. I had to change the image marker because the other one didn't have enough contrast, so it wasn't working that well. 
And this one is the same rocket that I had. You can see that the rubble got instantiated correctly. So that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions about anything that I show you on this video, please let me know in the comments.